welcome to Channel 1 Evening News. I'm your news anchor, Swordfish1. Breaking news from Minneapolis as of Friday or Saturday night, I cannot remember. But the Metrodome has recently collapsed. This is a big happening in sports because this is where the Vikings play. So they've moved it to Detroit. Yes, Detroit. Why would they move it to Detroit? I have no idea, but apparently everybody gets in free at Detroit. So I guess if you wanted to see the Vikings and the Giants play, you could have gone on Sunday night and gotten in for free. Although season ticket holders, they get preference seating. I, it's Detroit. I don't get it. I don't get it either. It's Detroit. Um, but we have footage courtesy of Fox News from there. We've got some exclusive footage from the Metrodome last night. Snow leaking in the roof and the roof collapsed this morning. No, 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 no! What the f? No. He well, as you can see, Vikings are probably not going to play there tonight. That happened at about 5 o'clock this morning. We have Pam, our Fox News reporter, over here uh, live on the scene. Pam? Well, Kurt, we were just allowed in the building not too long ago, and it is just something to see. I've never seen anything quite like it, that huge hole that you see behind me. Well, that's a breach that occurred around 5 o'clock in the morning. Crews have been out here trying to start the repairs, but you kind of wonder what for. Actually, the game has been moved to Detroit. It will be played at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. The Vikings can uh, finally host their uh, game against the New York Giants. Now, the, there was an attempt to get this game played at the University of Minnesota, but because it takes so much time to clear the field, they decided against that and instead have moved to Detroit. Thank you, Pam. And in other news, the Jets' assistant coach has intentionally tripped Nolan Ryan from the Miami Dolphins. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell was going on here, but this is, I mean, you have to have pretty low morals and I mean I understand it's the Jets and stuff like that I happen to be a Patriots fan so I can understand the Jets doing this but that's a new low even for the Jets and I'm a Patriots fan we have a video clip right here courtesy of CBS News uh, we'll go to that right now Miami had the ball a grand total of 17 oh, seconds on that possession oh, oh he's on his, his knees team. oh my a lot of yeah that looked painful here. Holmes to the 30 and then heads out of bounds, shy of the 35-yard line. It's bullshit. On the play is Nolan nope. Carroll. Is that play under review? The officials uh, watching the replay? Is that a challengeable play? He is on the Jets' sideline. Boy, it looked like he got tripped by one of the uh, members of the Jets' staff. Well, this is just uncalled for in the NFL. Watch the knee here being stuck out you on purpose. You've got to be licking to my nipples with the tongue Carroll. of an elephant. Not sure who that person is, but they should be ashamed of themselves for that type of action. That has no place in any athletic event. Right, thank you for watching. Please comment down below in the doobly doo. Rate and subscribe right here. Thank you for watching my video, and and thank you the Metrodome for collapsing and having me being able to have something to report on. We appreciate your great sacrifice for the greater good of reporting.